how does it feel? I mean, like, these are bombastic words. I mean, like, nuclear sciences, engineering, you know, BSc, honors, physics, and now you're doing your third year, I like to believe in mechanical engineering. Boss moves. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It, it feels like every other student, you know, just get overwhelmed with the work, struggle, cry, and move yeah. on. <laughs> into physics and i found other physics that i find more interesting than nuclear physics which is like high energy physics particle physics that's what i did in my honors year research project it works with sen if you know sen it's yeah. in europe so yeah they collide particles there and they play god try to figure out what particles uh really uh deep down are kind of like made out of if you think the what's this thing the atom is interesting definitely take a career in physics because that's not that's really the beginning your mind is still going to be very mind blown okay welcome to it and this is it um this is the student plug where we talk everything student support and development. And today on the student plug, we have um, Shaila to present. You know, I, you know, I thought that your word is Marshall. Is that your full name or? Get another Marshall, obviously, got no more baby. But yeah, vernacular. That's the name that I have on my ID, Shaila. So how do you get, how, like, how do you call the same Shaila then if you are a Marshall? Yeah, that's what my parents doing. I can't, I cannot do that word. <laughs> okay, so we have Rama Tobejani. And I didn't know that you want to change first comprehensive, you know? Yeah, I think always get, always get shocked. Like, you went to that school. Oh, people always get shocked. Yeah, I went to change first comprehensive. Yeah, yeah I think I, I went there grade seven. Yeah, until magic. Yeah, I'm saying this because Jane Fess and Nakarai, like that's that's home. And where's home for you if you want to Jane Fess Comprehensive? Uh, home. Uh, home is a lot of places in, in Limpopo, to be honest. But I went to Jane Fess because my parents worked at the hospital. So it was the nearest, one of the nearest schools around. Ah, uh, I see, I see. Okay. And then. Um, and then um congratulations as well um you're just a, a, a new graduate <laughs> how was it so, yeah so 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 i was a bit confused because um i see that you're graduating or you've graduated in bsc honors in physics and also a bsc in nuclear science and engineering so it's a double barrel thing like were you doing things concurrently simultaneously what yeah, happened been- I finished them concurrently. Um, okay, it's a very long time. Okay, I did my undergraduate in nuclear science and engineering um, since 2017. And then last year, 2020, right? Um, I had enough credits to graduate me into what my Bachelor of Science, I could have gotten it. But the problem was I failed a module called fluids. And in order for me to transfer into mechanical, which I wanted to do this particular year, it would have created problems. So I was like, no, I'm not graduating. You guys must give me this course. But she was also giving my honors as well, because I know that I can actually do this. I can do my honors and do this module and uh, finish them in one year. Wow. Uh, lengthy process, but yeah, we definitely did it. And yeah, now we have both of them. And now I'm doing my mechanical engineering degree. How does it feel? How does it feel? I mean, like, these are bombastic words. I mean, like, nuclear sciences, engineering, you know, BSc, honors, physics, and now you're doing your third year, I like to believe in mechanical engineering. Boss moves. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) I don't know. It it feels like every other student, you know, just get overwhelmed with the work, struggle, cry, and move on. And, and and how was the journey for you? How was the student journey for you? Like um, um, throughout this whole time, because I can imagine like these things might be demanding, might be requiring. How was the journey for you? Yeah, it definitely was demanding, and I think uh, more than anything is is the whole thing of switch switching or, or rather switching of classmates. 
every mm-hmm. single year because like the first year i think they took an intake of 30 of us and then when you come to second year more than half of those people are no longer there and now you have to meet new friends new company and yeah that 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 can be a bit frustrating and then you meet new people as well who you found in the system and you're like okay guys that was happening it's always a continuous struggle of actually trying to readapt to new people that you're, you're moving on with or moving into it a different year which you find so that was yeah that was, that was it was interesting you get to meet meet a lot of people and the faculty is teaching also you get to meet a lot of people then yeah, yeah. Before you leave feds, you definitely have a large group of network of people that, yeah, you've interacted with along the journey. You know, like they say that is a, it's like a, it's like a pyramid or it's like a triangle. You know, at the base, that's where you are in first year. It's a bunch of all of us, and along the years, like you know, the triangle sort of, <laughs> which is kind no. of. Bad. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a sad part about it. Yeah. But yeah, it it was uh-huh. Yeah. No, I was saying it, it was it was an interesting one because I don't know. Even though it was hard, I feel like the spirit of the people that you find in the system and those that you leave behind is always okay, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. I especially with the engineering people. I think it's it's more of an engineering thing. They have that fighting spirit to say, it doesn't matter how long, we're gonna get there and we're gonna finish and we're gonna we're all gonna get to the top somehow. So I think that's one thing I admire about engineers. At any point did you have any quantized emotional spectrum? (laughs) (laughs) What is that? Oh my god. (laughs) Tell us about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, it's it's it, it's all about having that holistic university life experience, you know. So it's the whole part of meeting friends, relationships, academics, events, structure, you know, yeah. as well, you know. So yeah, it's a combination of all of those things along the way that erupt a lot of emotions, a lot of life experiences, lesson learned, tears, we move, we cry, we move forward. Yeah, it's, 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 it's all of that. That's how the book came about. But it was more of me simply being a physicist like I am, you know? <laughs> yeah, and that's how I perceived it to say that, you know, emotions come, but they come at specific times in a specific way that you can't just explain how they are. They, they have to be quantized. Same with energy. You you can't do this and get something else. Always yeah. the same like, situation. You know, like, yeah. um, as a physicist yourself, I'm, I'm, I'm very much interested in... I, 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 I actually read, like, like, just a little bit of quantum physics, not too much. Um, I've read books that were mainly based on like quantum physics. Like if you read the book, The Secret, um, it's mainly based on that. And actually I think quantum physics for me is actually what made me to believe in God. Uh, You know, not that I didn't believe before, I did, but I didn't actually have much, you know, I don't know, concrete sort of background of, you know, you know, faith is just faith. You just believe in something because, you know, you're told to believe in it. But when I turned into quantum physics, I think it's a very... I don't know. I find it very quite interesting, you know, especially on energies and stuff like that. Yeah, it definitely is. It's a it's an interesting aspect of physics, I might say. I definitely enjoyed it in my honors. If anything, I think in our group year last year, it definitely was one of the favorite modules that we took. To be honest, most of the most of the class loved quantum physics. So that's where the title of your book comes from, you know. Yeah, to some extent, yeah, it, it definitely comes from it. It's kind of like saying, "I'm human, I'm female, but at the same time, I'm a physicist and I'm academic." You know, it has to run about that everything. So when you read my book and get that hint of physics as well, yeah, you shouldn't be surprised. It's it was written by an academic as well, so you need to get a wholehearted experience of who Shelatovian is. 
and what, what could, you know, and what could people find it? Us, like yeah very interesting comments i think mainly from like other people i think which is kind of weird there was this old man from my parents workplace who just enjoyed it he even ended up calling me to some extent got my par- my number from my parents and he was just so excited that he's reading a book by someone he knows or maybe yeah. like so, like someone he can relate to and he's like every time i'm reading your book i'm always laughing it's just one of the most yeah i think this that's the most the best remark or excitement i've gotten from any of my people who have actually bought my book that was definitely definitely oh. made my day somewhere in January when he yeah. bought it and what do we find yeah. it where do we find the book oh stuff. you can get it on the edx local store if okay edx local store is the local store opened by it's like take a lot but um a uh, local version of it so it only sells for local merchandise local entrepreneurs if you know any who want platform to sell they can also like go there it was actually founded by one of my other friends as well uh called Mbusa Makitla an uh, amazing person did computer science uh so you can find it on edx or you can follow me on instagram at shelly messi and directly get it for myself as well Okay, that's great. We'll put in the the links, you know, below, so for people to get it. Um, so so now I- imagine a learner who is actually maybe probably metric, um, or maybe someone out there who's listening to you, you know, and um, and she or he hears that um, you have done, you know, honors in physics, uh, nuclear sciences, and engineering, and all these big words. I uh, you know when we were at high school or normally as black people we think about what do you want to become i want to become an accountant i want to become a, a lawyer you know the, the the sort of normal kind of careers that you can choose and nuclear science and engineering is kind of not kind of normal from where i come from so if if, if, if someone asks you like what is this like what do you do there what do you say i think if you have an interest in science in physics and engineering definitely go for it but mainly I got, I liked it because I was like, the same with making bombs. Wouldn't that be nice to know how to, how those work? Only to find out that it's, it's, it's actually your brother that, but that, yeah, it was all about making bombs at the very beginning. It was like an, an interest to say, okay, this is, we've known that it's physics, but this is interesting because it's new and I always like exploring new things. So when I got there and it's actually broader, it's more of uh, nuclear energy related. So, you get to learn about the reactors much, how they work, where they are in the world, how the nuclear industry in overall is in the world and how it's advancing and where it's coming from. So I think that's generally what my undergrad of nuclear science and engineering has basically taught me. And it's been an interesting one because I think when I got there, I was just there because, okay, they said they're making bombs or this new physics and then you get to understand and you get to i get i got to develop new interests like with for me i found the whole point of uh reactor designing more interesting than the nuclear physics itself and i got into physics and i found other physics that i find more interesting than nuclear physics which is like high energy physics particle physics that's what i did in my honors year research project it works with sen if you know sen it's yeah. in europe so yeah they collide particles there and they play god try to figure out what particles uh really uh deep down are kind of like made out of if you think the what's this thing the atom is interesting definitely take a career in physics because that's not that's really the beginning your mind is still gonna be very mind blown especially when if you go into high energy particle physics uh, but yeah, when I got into nuclear, my most interesting part is in nuclear engineering, which is part of the reasons why I'm doing mechanical engineering now. I would like to get a master's in nuclear engineering when I specialize from a mechanical engineering degree. And, and you know, I, I'm hearing you talk all of these things, you know, and I remember this other time I was telling someone about the degree that I'm doing. Um, which is mainly mm-hmm. mathematics, and they were like, "No, dude, this this is for you, nerds." You know what? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh yeah, yeah. Have you have you have you ever someone calling you a nerd? 
Yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely. People will be like, you are wild. You have two degrees, you're still in school. You should go and work. And I'm like, uh, there's, you can go to work, yeah, but I'm still like 21 years old. You know, I feel like you should study as much as long as age still allows you. Yeah, you know, I can still spend a couple of more years in school. So, yeah, I, th- I think I should I should use that time to, to, to study further. And then you can see work. Work, work won't run away. It will still be a... Uh, so what kind of people are suitable for this course? You know, is it, um, I mean, obviously people like you, but what is like you, you know, who's like you, you know, what are those people <laughs> who are like you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, it's no longer being offered. Yeah, actually, I think they stopped the program two years back because the output rate wasn't wasn't that great so like yeah we're not we're not coming out of the system as fast as we're getting into the system yeah we're getting trapped and then switching to other things so they stop the program but if you still like nuclear physics you, you could definitely go into it so if you want to study physics people who study physics are people who are just inquisitive in general if you're uh, skeptical inquisitive and hard working because you're definitely going to need uh, that hard work that you're going to be able to put in and if you're more of an engineering driven person you want to understand how things work definitely go for an engineering degree but definitely have the heart for it because engineering really wants someone to have to persevere through hard times you're definitely going to need to uh, yeah, have that perseverance inside of you. So with science, you need to be inquisitive and hardworking. With engineering, you need to be hardworking, patient, and very, very, yeah, you need to persevere through all the challenges that uh, the school of Mac is going to throw at you. And then what do you guys work? Like, say you've had all of this um, nuclear, you know, like um, one of the things that, you know, people are asking, what are you doing? And I'm like, me, I'm doing mathematics. And then the question that I always get is that, dude, where are you going to work? And what are you going to work as? Are you going to be, you know, when you're doing law, you're going to be a lawyer. If you're doing accounting. Yeah. You're doing so if you come and say, I'm doing mathematics, people are like, so you're doing mathematics. So what are, what are you, mathematician? And then what? Where do you work and stuff like that? With you, nuclear science and engineering, nuclear physics or physics, where do you guys work? Yeah, I think there's a broad thing about the nice thing about science or engineering degree is that it's very broad in terms of where you can apply your skills because you mainly get skills of how to think and apply things when you're in this particular streams of, of studies. But if you are more interested in uh, um, the theory itself of nuclear and do not want to explore other aspects, you would obviously, okay, stuff is quite limited. It's mainly a, okay. Uh, a degree where it's more applicable overseas because that's where the nuclear industry is more booming because of um, carbon free emission power plants that they're actually ongoing building but in south africa we only have one nuclear power plant and one um, other place where there's a reactor and it's, an, it's a nuclear facility nexa so there's nexa and then there's uh the school back and nuclear power plant group work so as a nuclear physicist obviously you go and work at uh, nexa because that's where the research is going and there's something we're number one in, in south africa which is creating medical isotopes we're number one in creating nuclear medical isotopes surprisingly enough even though we have one single reactor which is the research one single research reactor for nuclear so yeah i think that you would definitely go and work there if you if you're not engineering, you'd go work at Gobek. But then there's also research. You can also stay in academia, publish, obviously. There's Interbal Labs here and Interbal Labs at Cape Town as well. So they also do a lot of uh, ongoing research, nuclear research as well. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um... Yeah, no, I think, I think, I think, I think, you know, like, especially with courses like that, I was seeing someone to say, um, you know, these days I think, and I was telling this person to say, um, that's what I've seen also in career expos and stuff. Um, a lot of companies these days, especially you guys, you're getting hired even in places that I never thought you guys would be hired in. 
you know i know a lot yeah, of yeah we're everywhere we're everywhere because if anything i'm most likely to end up in the bank right now because i love being challenged i definitely am thinking that quantitative analysis is something that perhaps i should consider as a career yeah a lot of you guys end there and obviously because of the guap the money is quite you know high that side yeah <laughs> you know secure the bag pay generational wealth very necessary <laughs> yeah so like i think there's a shift in in what corporates these days are looking for and i, I think in my own accordance is is creativity and innovation and you know um courses like the one that you have done because they are mainly based on problem solving analysis and stuff um they are very thought provoking and stuff like that which then makes you guys to be very innovative and very creative yeah definitely definitely that's that's definitely where corporate is going yeah i, I think with anything a science degree you can never really go wrong with a science degree i think that's that's my point so i feel like when you come to university you can go wrong with a science or an engineering degree so when you come to in the, to university take something that you're interested in because that's what's going to drive you throughout the whole the whole years of of suffering that you might endure especially where if you're advanced you know tell you it's going to give you the edge it's definitely going to give you the edge what gets you through all these years of being on the verge of versus and the drive and the interest because otherwise yeah it's it's, it's going to be even harder yeah yeah 